Hey guys, so uh, I figured I would start off with telling you about a little bit of how my week went. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the video from last weekend where I was unboxing my Alcrate box for February and there was an umbrella inside which was really awesome. But I opened up the umbrella and my husband was just like, oh, don't do that. And I was like, oh, I'm not superstitious. That's, that's ridiculous. I'm going to open up the umbrella. Well, hey. after I finished filming that video, we all got to go in the car to go do grocery shopping and the car wouldn't start. So I'm not saying the umbrella cursed us, but I'm not ruling it out. I'm not... I'm not gonna sit here and, and say that that didn't have something to do with it. You know, maybe I believe now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a bad week um, because, you know, so the, so my husband and I were troubleshooting with the car, trying to figure out what we could do. I mean, like most middle-class Americans, we can't afford to just go take it to a mechanic at any time, you know? So we had to, you know, try to, you know, watch some YouTube videos and figure out if we could fix this problem ourselves. Um, I trudged through the snow all day on Sunday, you know, go, going out and getting different pieces from the auto parts, parts store. It's about half a mile down the road. So, you know, I was doing that throughout the day. Like I'd go down, try this, go back. That didn't work. Go back, try this. I'd go off in the other direction, go to the gas station and um, bring back some gas. You know, I was trying, we were just trying all different things. Um, and I think, unfortunately, that it is the fuel pump. And so that's going to cost an arm and a leg. So yeah, it's been rough. I had to cancel my BoxyCharm and Alcrate for next month. And I just really hope it doesn't cost more than like $400 because if it costs more than $400 then I don't know how we're gonna do it. Um, right now my husband is walking to work all week. He's been walking to and from work and it breaks my heart. Like he is the hardest working person I think I've probably ever known in my life. So this is extra unfair and it's just, Okay, so I don't want to be too much of a downer, but yeah, I wanted to start off my video telling you guys about basically what my how my week was. And um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but my hair is lighter. Um, I'm in the process of stripping out color that I had put into my hair. So naturally, my hair is black, almost black. It's like coffee black. Um, and uh, for the past 20 years almost now, about 19 years now, um, I've been, you know, coloring it, lightening it, lightening and coloring it, and just doing all kinds of stuff with my hair. So um, right now I'm trying to strip out all of the color to get it down to the lightest that I've lightened it so that I could start, kind of start over. And my plan is to have, um, I, I really want to have cool toned hair. So like I want to keep my natural roots um, for easy maintenance and also just because I think it looks better. Um, and then have the, um, this warm uh light brown reddish kind of i want to turn that into an a dark ash blonde or a medium ash blonde i think it'll look really good and i'm really excited to see how it turns out so far i've been using the pravana um artificial color extractor kit um i've done that two times two rounds of it and I, it doesn't see, it didn't seem to get much lighter after the second time of doing it so i think now would be the time to like go ahead and try to put on the, the ash color it might not get as light as i was hoping it to be but i mean i could always get some clip in highlights or something like that to give me more um just you know some more light um around my face because i'm very pale colored and um my naturally dark hair to me i don't think it's very flattering on me so you know like there needs to be more dimension I think in my hair so that's what I'm working on right now um so yeah uh probably in about a week from now my hair will look a lot better um but I knew that it would take a couple weeks to get to where I wanted to go I'm going to, to be actually posting um a video showing how to do that because I know a lot of people don't really know how to get color out of their hair without you know really screwing it up or getting the results that they want so I'm going to be doing a video on that and showing my progress. I've got the pictures, like I've been taking a picture after each um, step that I do. So I'm going to do all that probably next weekend or maybe the week after that, we'll see. Okay, so on to the next thing. In coffee news, there are a lot of wonderful new coffees and creamers coming out on the market soon that I'm really, really excited for. Um, the first one is a creamer. Uh, I forget which company it is that, it's one of the main ones that's like in every grocery store. But anyway, they are coming out with a Peeps creamer. So, you know, Peeps, uh, the Easter candies, the marshmallows, um, people either they love them or they hate them. 
I love them in small dosages. I really love marshmallow. Marshmallow is one of my favorite scents, one of my favorite flavors. So I'm really excited to get the Peeps flavored coffee creamer. Um, I believe that comes out this month. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. And as far as coffees go, there's several new flavors. So Bones Coffee, which you guys have seen me do tons of reviews on Bones Coffee over the year, uh, over the past few months. They're coming out with a new one called Cookies and Dreams. It's cookies and cream flavored coffee. I'm really excited for that. Cookies and cream is one of my favorite flavors of ice cream. So I think it'll translate well into coffee. I'm like, I'm so stoked for it. And the packaging is so cute. So I'm really excited to get that. But again, because I'm having car problems, I'm gonna, it's probably gonna be about a month before I can order that. And then another item that I wanna be ordering from Bones Coffee is carrot cake flavored uh, coffee. They, um, they did that last year uh, at Easter time. It was like a seasonal thing and I missed it. So this year I want to make sure that I don't miss it. I want to get that bag because I'm collecting all the bags and um, and I'm really excited to see how it tastes. Uh, the Valentine's Day special one that they had, the red velvet, that was really good. One of my favorite Bones flavors probably. Um, and it had like Cupid on the front, like a skeleton Cupid. I loved it. I love the packaging on that one too. So um, I think it might be kind of sim kind of taste a little bit similar to that, maybe a little bit more spice, like kind of like cinnamon cinnamony spice to it. That's what I'm thinking it's gonna be like. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. Then the other coffee company that you guys have seen me do a lot of reviews on, Burial Grounds Coffee, um, is coming out with some new things. One is from Stranger Things theme, and it's called Dart Snack. I don't understand the reference. Maybe you guys do, but it is chocolate nugget flavored coffee, and that is one of my favorite kinds of um candy i love chocolate and nugget together like uh three musketeers bars so i'm really excited to get that one and then i really want to try the birthday cake one um it's hagrid it's like hagrid it's got like a picture of like hagrid's cake that he made for harry potter um and it's like and it's spelled like happy birthday is spelled wrong it's like happy birthday <laughs> I don't know how to like say it the way that i mean i guess it's like spelled how it sounds if you have a scottish accent like hagrid but I think it's cute. And I think birthday cake flavored coffee would probably be really delicious. So, um, so yeah, those are, oh, oh yes, another one, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Um, so there's this other coffee company I found called Expedition Roasters and they also make teas and I think they make hot chocolate too. No, I don't think they do. Anyway, um, there's some Haunted Mansion flavors that I wanna be getting from there. One is Praline, one is, um, what is the other one? I can't even remember. I'm sorry. I don't even remember what the flavors are. I'm just so excited to have the bags. Two of them are Haunted Mansion themed and Haunted, Haunted Mansion is like one of my favorite things ever. And then um, one is like a Maleficent themed one, which that one I remember is chocolate raspberry. I think that'll taste pretty good. And then there's like a s'mores campfire one. And they have like, they're, they're mostly like Disney themed. I think they're all Disney themed. That's really cool. So I encourage you to go check out their Instagram as well, Expedition Roasters. Um, but anyway, they have a tea coming out and I'm very picky about tea. And this is the Neverland tea. It's inspired by Peter Pan and it's apple, hibiscus, and orange. And those are the three teas. Those are like the only three teas that I usually like. And it's all mixed together, apple, orange, and hibiscus. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. Oh, and by the way, um, so Kathleen Lights, I don't know if you guys follow Kathleen Lights, but she often talks about how at Starbucks they have these things called the uh, mango dragon fruit cooler, refresher. And she's she's been drinking it, she drinks it a lot in her videos and she talks about how great it is. So um, we were out, we were running errands. I usually don't go to Starbucks, just, you know, it's expensive. I can make my coffee at home. But we were out running errands and my husband and I decided to like stop and get a drink and I wasn't in the mood for coffee, I wanted something refreshing. I was like, yes, this is my opportunity to try out the dragon fruit refresher. So I got it. Um, it is pretty good, but I would not call it refreshing because it has and, and people have told me that they don't have this reaction to like lemonade. Um, when I have lemonade, it really like dries my mouth out like so much and it's, it's not refreshing for me. Although I think it tastes good, I don't think it's refreshing. And I think that there's lemonade and mango, mango dragon, dragon fruit refresher, or at least it feels, at least it, that's how it like tastes or feels. So I didn't think that it was refreshing, but I did think it was flavored. It was good, it was good. So yeah, you should try that next time you're at Starbucks. You know, especially like in the summer, you know, I don't know, sometimes walking around with something as heavy as coffee, um, whether even if it's cold, 
coffee sometimes in the summer it just doesn't feel good like it doesn't sit right you know so like if you want to go to starbucks in the summer the warmer weather i recommend the mango dragon fruit refresher i keep forgetting what to call that okay so another thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about is um well i just hit 148 subscribers and about a week or so ago i was feeling really down um and you know quite honestly i have a lot of doubts about me having any kind of success on youtube um you know i just i guess i just don't really have that it factor you know um and, and you know I've, I've joined lots of youtube support groups and, you, and they just keep saying over and over and over again put out good content and people will subscribe people will watch and it's just like it's got to be more than that <laughs> it has to be you know it has to be more than good content because i've seen people with videos that i that they speak in a monotone uh, or they're hard to understand or they're just talking about random stuff or just talking really slow like they have no idea why they even started a video in the first place and they have like tons of subscribers i'm not going to like name any names because that would be really rude but i there's i've seen people become very successful on youtube in my opinion successful um and where i'm just like how did that happen and then i see people i run across people with amazing content and they've only got like 30 40 subscribers so I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it has to be more than just putting out good content. Uh, I think a little bit of it has to do with luck, but um, and I don't want to sound cynical at all. You know, um, it's just I want to be as realistic and honest with myself as possible. And if I'm being realistic and if I'm being honest, um, I, I, you know, I know that maybe I'm not a very good um, content creator. And so, you know, I would love tips from you guys if you have any tips for me, but I just also want to make it very clear that, you know, I think I've accidentally derailed this channel a little bit. Um, I did not set out to make this a beauty channel, um, although it's been described that way by, by people like what I said, people like look at my channel and check it out and stuff like that. They refer to it as a beauty channel. Um, and it's, it's not a beauty channel. I did not set out for it to be that way. Beauty is one aspect of my life that I love very much. and I am passionate about it, but I'm not particularly very talented at it. Um, I don't, you know, I, I can't really teach tutorials or anything like that. I don't do exciting looks or anything like that. I just do my normal makeup and, you know, I unbox BoxyCharm and um, there's other beauty subscriptions that I'm really looking into. Um, I'm interested in Birchbox, Allure, Ipsy, Glossy Box looks really good. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few that I really want to check out and there's other subscription boxes that I want to look into too. I get Alcrate and I absolutely love Alcrate. I really highly recommend that if you're a reader. Um, and there's some other ones I really want to get into. There's one called Dot Box, which is a monthly menstruation box. You can get like the teen version or you can get the adult version. Personally, I think the teen version is better and that's the one I would probably be getting for myself. Um, so I'm really interested in getting that. I think that's like 40 bucks a month. So it's like me. Eh. Not right now. I'm not in a place right now to be getting any more subscriptions, but because of the fact that I had to cancel BoxyCharm this next month, maybe I won't sign back up for BoxyCharm the following month. Maybe I'll try a different beauty subscription, you know, um, but Alcrate, I know that I definitely want to get back on board with that. Um, I know that I don't want to give that one up yet. So, um, then I, I just wanted to say that, you know, this is actually, I actually set out to make this a lifestyle um, vlog. And, you know, I, right now I'm really just learning the ropes. You know, I don't know any editing. I'm learning everything very slowly. I've always been kind of a slow learner, unless it's something physical. Like I pick up things physically very quickly, but if it's anything that's like mental, that's really tough for me. And I'm very slow. Um, you know, it's, it's very difficult for me to learn like a new language or a new method of doing things like mathematics, for example, or picking up a new skill. It's very difficult. And right now learning how to edit and how to use social media to me feels very overwhelming and almost impossible. And I keep getting very down on myself and it's, it's hard, you know, cause I don't know. It's like, should I keep going with this or is this a waste of my time? Am I just a big joke? <laughs> so, you know, there, but there's a lot of things that I want to talk about on my channel other than beauty. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'm a mother. And before I ever had children, I always knew that I wanted to be a stay-at-home mother and be, a, you know, and thankfully I've been blessed with, you know, like I was able to, you know, I have a very healthy relationship with my husband who makes enough money that we don't need me to work outside the home. So, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mother and I get to be there for everything for my kids. And I'm very, that's the, probably the biggest blessing in my life. 
Um, but you know, I've also picked up some some tricks, tips, hacks along the way. So you know, I would like to make some videos of how you know how I've solved problems in my life. You know, so like as far as meal planning, organization, budgeting. Um, you know, I I found some tricks along the way, and I'd love to share them with you guys. But you know, I am gonna keep on doing the unboxings. I am gonna keep doing spoiler videos. But also, please let me know: is there anything that you would like to see from me that I haven't mentioned? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you haven't subscribed, but you'd like to, please do that for me. I would really appreciate that. And if you are subscribed, you've been with me, uh, you know, you've watched some of my videos and supported me, thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate it. It really does mean a lot to me. That's what really keeps me going. All right, well, that's the end. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.